Hey guys, Team Max signing in and welcome to another FIFA 17 squad builder video. Now the squad you're going to be seeing in today's video is a squad you pretty much see on this channel every freaking year. And as you've probably seen by the title, it's a Nigerian squad. Now to sum it up in three words, it's freaking overpowered. I mean when you go in to see some of the players on this team and for the prices they go for, you guys will probably go out there and build this team. Actually going onto it, as you can see here, I've used a 3-5-2 formation. Main reason I've gone with this formation is because it's it's a good formation to start with. There aren't many Nigerian left backs in the game, so I thought I'll try a three at the back formation. And this formation has worked freaking amazing. Now, for anyone out there who wants to build this exact team, it'll cost you anywhere between 15 to 17k coins. And for my PS4 peeps, before you go crazy at me in the comments, it'll probably cost 20k at most on PS. Now, with this team, I've kind of experimented with some of the positions that players are in. You go on to see that in a second, but overall, I've loved using this team. I've enjoyed enjoyed it and I've had a freaking hell of a time with it and if you do go on to enjoy the squad and the video make sure to drop a like as that would be very much appreciated 150 plus likes would be amazing now starting us off as the goalkeeper we have Enyema now he's pretty much standard in terms of Nigerian keepers there's no one else you really want to go for he's the highest rated Nigerian keeper he's got 90 reflexes 50 speed and I mean he's six foot so I mean you can't really go wrong for 900 coins first center back we have is Omeru now this guy goes for 700 coins and just look at is that 76 pace 76 defending 79 physical he's six for one as well i mean how is a center back with those stats going for that cheap i mean i i just don't understand it nevertheless next to him with Otigba, this dude is another overpowered center back 79 pace 80 physical 68 defending which is decent for a silver card he cost me 600 coins he's six foot two with medium medium work crates i mean you'll be seeing so much of this as i go through the team we have taiwan next to him now he's not a cheap center back but it's understandable the guy's got 81 pace 76 physical and 71 defending he's also six foot he's got a guardian card on him but it doesn't really need anything on him he plays well nevertheless if you look up the word overpowered in the dictionary you probably see his smiling face to be honest next we have lowell in the first cdm position this guy's six foot one only cost me 600 coins as you can see there his stats all round are pretty decent i mean his low stats is 67 defender which isn't even that bad 85 physical making him the strongest player in the team and he's also got four star weak foot i mean what else are you gonna need in a cdm next to him with a good day i think that's how it's pronounced 80 pace 84 physical i mean the physicality of my cdms is just too freaking much to handle the guy cost me 1.2k coins and for a silver card how the heck is this guy on 80 pace and 84 physical i mean i, I just i don't understand this team hurts my brain next we have uma 89 pace 80 dribbling he's not the tallest of players but he's got high low work rates which is perfect for his positioning he's only got 69 physical but in game he can get people off the ball if you need him to only cost me 1.5k coins so it wasn't really that expensive and on the other side we have igbon 92 pace 72 dribbling 78 physical i mean this guy's got 78 physical and he's a silver card how sweaty can you get anyways moving on to our club with musa who have converted to a center forward play 93 pace 82 dribbling and he cost me 3.4k cons just fairly cheap to be honest i mean it's not too expensive you guys are probably thinking why am i playing him in the camp position well because of his dribbling and pace he can get in behind the strikers if i need him to he actually creates chances which is why i'm playing him there rather than up top because he's a small player so he's more effective in that position and moving on with emenike i bought him with the hunter card so he cost me 2.4k coins and i would recommend this with any striker if you're putting a hunter card on him just don't buy it separately guys just get him with it on it because it's a lot cheaper with the hunter card i think it pushes his pace to 95 and he's shooting to something like 84, 85, which is insane. Besides that, MNEK already has decent stats, as you can see there, 80 physical, 75 dribbling, and he's six foot as well with high low work rates. This guy is a beast, but uh, you already know that. Next to him, we have Mbakugu, 89 pace, 71 dribbling, 78 physical. I think this guy's got 84 or 85 strength in game or something around that mark. He's six foot high medium work rates which isn't too bad and once again just stupidly cheap 750 coins and he's just too good in game i'm not gonna lie guys actually going through this team it's actually made me realize more how sweaty overpowered and cheap this team is so if you're a person low on coins just looking for a team to help you get by and just destroy people this is it and if you're new to the channel and i mean you like squad builders just subscribe now because 
the sweat is kind of taking over. Nevertheless, I'm going to jump into a game for you guys and show you what this team can do. This is the team I'm coming up against, guys. As you can see there, it's got a BPO team with a random Aston Villa player there. Let's see how this goes. No, we're not trying to concede this early. Oh my days. How has that actually gone in, guys? It didn't even sh- I, I, Wow. Boney's freaking, I don't know guys, I don't know. We're just gonna have to recover, come back into this game and show this guy what we're made of. Get through, a cross net. Oh, no, his keeper saved that. Smash it, bang. Oh, what a save. We keep pushing this guy. One of these are gonna go in. Now, m and -E Oh, come on, smash it. Don't let him win that. No, 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 no. This guy does not deserve to be 2 0 up, guys. What's actually going on here? No, I'll put it through. Finish that. Oh, yes. We've got one back before half time, guys. We needed that. Ah, oh, I so thought that was going now. We've got to go back. We can still get back in this. It's half time, guys. And like I was saying, I didn't feel like the guy deserved the 2 1 lead. And as you can see by the stats, I'm having more shots on target. I've got more possession. I should be in the lead. But you know, what I mean, that's not how it stands at the moment. So I'm going to jump into the second half and make things right. Come on, Musa. There we go, Musa. You're through. Finesse that. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I play Musa at camp. Because at camp, he can actually make a difference. I mean, he's running from behind, got through, curled around the keeper. And it's 2 2. Use nah, MNEK. Find that pass. Back to MNEK. Ah, the pass could have been better there, guys. Not letting through. Oh, we're in trouble. Boom. Great defending. Musa's there. Find MNEK. Across net. Ooh. Musa, if you get this in. Wow, I'm surprised Musa got ahead to that. Emanike, just smash it from there. That's what I'm talking about. Emanike puts it in the back of the net. <laughs> Whew, we needed that goal, guy. I'm not even sure if that's because Emanike is just good or if that's the Hunter card doing its thing, but I don't care right now. We're in the lead. Now, push it out wide. Now, finesse that. Boom, 4 2. That. <laughs> I mean, the game just got away from the guy. When I say this team's sweaty, guys, I mean it. We've come back from being 2-0 down, now it's 4-2. It's end of the game, guys. It sounded 4-2. Once upon a time in this game, we were 2-0 down. Managed to score three goals in the second half and win this 4-2. That's what I'm talking about. At the end of that, Emanike was man of the match with a 9.5 rating. With Mbakugu at a 9.3 and Musa at a 9.3. Once again, all the players performed well. Goals came from Emanike with one. And Bakugu with two and Musa with one. So the team overall played well. This is the team once again. And for the past few FIFAs, I've actually done a Nigerian team. Some of you guys have actually tried it and have gave me feedback down in the comment section. If you do go and try this team out, let me know how it plays for you guys. I enjoyed it. This is probably going to be my fitness team. As you know, it's not the most expensive of teams. And I can just keep it there, if you know what I mean. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. That would be very much appreciated. Subscribe if you want new. And if you have any overpowered squads you guys have you can send them to me on twitter might end up using them for a video and if i do i'll shout you guys out i'm also on snapchat and instagram all links are down in the description and for today this is tmac signing out thanks for watching guys and see ya I am the one, the way